Poeda writes, Hi Alphonse, the lesson where you explain the shoulder neck exercise while doing it is brilliant. Brilliant. I enjoy it very much and would like to encourage you to do more. Kind regards, Poeda. Most of the videos you can find, or tutorials from fitness professionals, from yoginis, from even from therapists concerning neck and shoulder pain and tension, they will give you stretching exercises or strengthening exercises. And I find both of them very problematic. So uh, please come to lie on the floor, on your back, on a mat or carpet, and I will show you a meaningful alternative to stretching and strengthening. All right. So it's recording. The number one reason why we lie down on the floor, as I understand it, is so we don't have to deal with gravity. Right? I don't have to use muscles to hold me upright in standing against gravity. So I can fully concentrate on the task at hand, at the exercise. In this case, when you come to lie down onto your back, see now, as soon as you lie down, your head is resting on the floor. Your head is carried by the floor. By default, there's less tension already in the neck because it's carried by the floor and not the neck anymore, right? Now, we can, on, we can concentrate on relaxing it more on the floor and also organize it better, make it function better. So when we get up again, it won't take all the tension again. We can get up with a more Better organized neck, less tension, same function. Carry the neck, carry the head, carry the head around. Look, see, here, smell. So come to rest on your back and have your head fully rest on the floor. That's, that's the first thing. If you need a cushion, put the cushion. Put your head in a position where your neck is not strained, your neck is not long, your neck is not tilted back too much, it's just like somewhere where it's comfy. Maybe roll it a little bit to find where, uh, move yourself a little bit just to find where is, where is your neck comfy. So that's the starting position of our lesson. And then put your right hand, so you can have your uh, feet standing if, if you like if it's more comfy for you. I just have them long right now. We will have them standing later. Put your right hand on top of your left shoulder. In a way. So first, maybe first find what is your left shoulder. Just touch your shoulder a little bit and find what, what can you find. There is a closing, of course, uh, and then there's skin and muscles. And maybe you can find the bones underneath. So there's a big bone from your upper arm, maybe you can find it, and then there's a shoulder joint, it's more hard there, and then a chromium, and then you have the shoulder blade in the back, and you can find the shape of your shoulder blade, there's a landmarks there you can find, it's not all even, it's not just a shoulder blade, it's a large structure with many little details. And on the front you have your clavicle. Uh, which has a joint to your breastbone. Here, a little knob next, in front of your neck. In front of your throat, actually. A little knob and then there's the clavicle. Collarbone. And then have just, just rest your right hand on your left shoulder. You will feel your right hand has a shape that fits onto your shoulder. The shoulder is round, con, concave, no, convex, and your hand is concave and they just fit together very nicely. And just rest your hand there 
if that's possible, and just see your elbow. Does it have to point to the ceiling or can you have it resting on your chest? Where is it possible? Don't force anything, just this question. Where does your, where can your elbow rest and your arm rest? And can it rest or do you have to really hold it up and just maybe bring your attention to your fingers, like your fingers like an octopus maybe, or like a wet warm, warm water or a warm towel little towel, napkin around your left shoulder, very comfortable, feel the warmth of your shoulder. Should be a nice connection, should be a nice feeling. Yeah, breathe, 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 breathe. Don't force anything, just rest for a minute. And then, that's one of my tricks. Let go again. Just feel like, did you have tension? Do you have, did you need any tension to hold your, left, your right hand on your left shoulder? And let go of that and just let your arm slide down to the floor or carpet or bed, wherever you are. And rest for another half a minute, a couple of seconds. Feel, feel your right arm. Did, you, did your feeling for your right arm change? Do you have a different sensation in your right arm now than in <laughs> two minutes ago? And then bring your right hand again onto your left shoulder and see, is that easier? Did anything change already? When you come back to the same thing and then start to move the fingers of your right hand towards the floor on your left. Just slide your right hand down from your shoulder, just a bit, slide it down. Let your right hand slide down to the floor and to your left side. See, where can your right hand reach easily, touch easily the floor, the tips of your fingers touch the floor and maybe walk a little bit to the left. Just touch the floor to your left and see where can you touch the floor on your left side. Where does your elbow have to go, your right arm? Can it go to the left as well? Maybe. Let's see. You move the hand a little bit to the left and back again and to the left and up your shoulder again and to your left again. Maybe, what is your head doing? Can you feel anything in your head? If your head doesn't move at all, maybe take a look to your left. Bring your eyeballs to the left. Eyeball to the left. Oh, maybe your head rolls to the left, if you eyeball to the left, does it? If it doesn't, maybe move your chin to the left, move your tongue to the left. Invite your head to roll. Don't force your head to roll, invite it. Invite yourself to roll a little bit to the left, you can't roll much. Maybe your right shoulder blade moves away from your spine. Yeah. <laughs> So your right arm can reach more to your left, <laughs> can it? And then bring your arm down again onto your right side and just feel where it drops. Don't bring your, don't think of like the right arm can just drop, fall to your right side. It doesn't have to be mounted somewhere in a specific place, no. This is not a workshop like where you put the tools very neatly organized on a wall. No, it's just like, just let your right arm fall. And then bring it up again. Maybe do the same movement one more time. Let your head roll to your left, just to check it. Check how easy it is. Check how easy it is to rest your right hand on your left shoulder. Did anything change? Are they friends? Is the right hand friends with your left shoulder? <clears throat> and let go again. Drop your right arm to the floor somewhere, wherever it falls. And bring your right foot to standing. So your right foot is standing, right knee is pointing towards the ceiling. That's one of my favorite moves. Maybe you know it already from my other videos. And start to push with your right foot 
against the floor. Push, push, push a little bit and let go again. Push a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit more and let go again. Push a little bit, let go again. Push a little bit and let go again. Hmm? So notice you roll onto your left leg. Let your pelvis roll to the left. Don't, don't raise your hip, just roll it because you're pushing with your right foot against the floor and do nothing else does it, it works. You don't have any effort anywhere in your body, just relax all the places. The only work you have to do is in your right foot and see how, what that does to your body. Relax, everything else relax. Don't lift your pelvis, let your shoulders rest, it's a twist. It's a twist, do it many times, just tiny movements or a little bit bigger movements. And then place your right foot somewhere else. Choose a different location for your right foot, maybe more towards your left knee. And push from there, should feel a little bit different. It's a little difference. Put your right foot more to the outside, push from there. You can stop the video whenever you want to stop the video and explore more or memorize this movement and practice it later. Or just continue. So don't restrict yourself. Enjoy this movement. Maybe your left leg rolls. My left leg starts to roll. Try a couple of places with your right foot. Maybe far away from your pelvis or very close to your pelvis. Bring the forefoot more to the right, so your toes more to the right, while your heel st stays where it is. Push like this. Then bring your toes to the left, to the inside, and push like this. Do everything in between. See how that feels. Find different locations, different locations for your toes, for your foot. Then move your heel more to the inside and see how that feels as opposed to the toes to the outside. Or move your heel to the outside. <laughs> so many different places to put the foot, isn't it? Suddenly, so many choices. All right, then relax your right leg again. Take a short break just to feel how you rest on the floor. See if there's any difference. See how you feel, all right? Where you lie. If there's any difference in feeling for the right leg to the left leg, the right side of your hip to the left side of your hip. Then bring your right foot to standing again, the left leg is long. Put it in a good place. Right hand on top of your left shoulder. That's the starting position. And then start to reach with your fingers to your left again. Roll your head to the left again and push with your right foot against the floor and see how that all works together. Maybe try different locations for your right foot. Maybe try different pathways for your, left, uh, for your right hand. Maybe you need to turn your right arm a little bit. You can reach different locations, roll in different places. Push with the right foot first. Reach with the right hand first. <laughs> Do variations. Just see what comes to your mind in this rolling. Rolling to the left. Keep your right knee towards the ceiling, please. So we have a movement in your right hip joint. We want to have movement in the hip joints. It's important to have movement in the hip joints. They're ball joints. They're meant for movement. They can go in all directions because it's ball joints. You want to take advantage of that. And your hip, your hip joint will be happy if it can move in all the directions, if you let it move in all the directions. So keep your knee towards the ceiling when you push against the floor with your right foot. All right, take a short break.
have your right foot standing, bring your right hand on top of your left shoulder, reach with the right hand to the left, push with the right foot against the floor, but roll your head to the right, deliberately, roll your head to the right. It's a, your body, most of the body goes to the left, but your head goes to the right. So you have to let go of your neck. You have to let go of your neck. Just roll it a bit. It's a strong rotation of your neck. It has to organize differently. See where you can give in, where you can make it more soft, where you can make it roll more easy. Maybe the head slides a little bit on the floor. Don't push anything. Don't force anything. Just try to find, what is this kind of movement? How can I make it more comfortable? How can I make it more easy? And then, for a change again, let your head roll to the left. And the next time, let it roll to the right. And the next time you push with your right foot, let it roll to the left. Change a couple of times. Be comfortable. Find what's easy. Find how everything fits together. And then let go again. Just come back onto your back and take a short rest on your back. Don't think of anything, just rest on your back. Now we will do the same thing on the left side. Put your left hand on top of your right shoulder. <laughs> you can explore, or you, check, you can just put it there. See if your left hand can make friends with your right shoulder. And then start to reach with your fingers of your left hand to the floor, touch with the tips of your finger the floor, and see, can you move your left hand onto the floor to your right, you did the same thing before on the other side. So now it's more easy because you know what to do. And explore a little bit. And maybe your head rolls. If your head doesn't roll, try to look with your eyes to the right. Try to move your chin to the right, your tongue, until your head deliberately rolls to your right. Always try different variations to do this with your arm. Maybe your arm can turn. See what you do with your left elbow, with your left shoulder blade, with the left side of your ribs, rib cage, with your neck. And then let go again. Just let your left arm fall to the floor somewhere on your left side, somewhere. Doesn't matter if, you're, if the back of your hand is turned toward the ceiling or the inside of your hand is turned toward the ceiling. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If it's relaxed, it's relaxed. It just falls wherever it falls. There's no specific posture you have to find. It's like a baby. A baby, a healthy baby, can be in any position and be relaxed. There's no rule. How to be relaxed. <laughs> Come on. Then bring your, bring your left hand again to your right shoulder. Just see if they made friends. How easy it is to move your left hand to your... For me, it's much easier now. It's so much easier. It's comfortable. It's so much range of movement compared to the start of... The, the lesson. All right. Let your left hand drop again, the arm drop again, and bring your left foot to standing. And do the same exploration with pushing a, with the left foot against the floor. You will be becoming professionals with me. Professional pushing the left foot against the floor. <laughs> and roll the pelvis to your right. 
There's no competition for this. Put your left foot in different places. See how that feels. How efficient or inefficient some of those places are for pushing against the floor with the left foot and rolling the hip to the right and twisting the whole upper body and keep your shoulders on the floor. Move your toes to the outside and to the inside and see how that feels. Move your heel to the outside and the inside, see how that feels. How that supports the idea of rolling the pelvis to the right. <laughs> Where you can you let go? Maybe your head rolls. My head rolls now to the right when I push. I even arch in the back. It just fits together so nicely. There's no rules. The only rule I give to you is push against the floor with your left, with your left foot and then play with it. It's an experiment, a movement exploration. It's not a set exercise with strict rules. Let go again. Take a short break. A short break. And then we combine. Bring your left foot to standing, your left hand on top of your right shoulder, and then start to roll onto your right. Push with your left leg against the floor. Keep your left knee towards the ceiling. And just roll, roll, roll. Reach, reach and roll. And then turn your head to the left while you reach to your right. And really let go of your neck and be gentle, careful. See maybe if it extends to the back. Maybe it's a rolling to the left and extending. And then roll it to your right. Roll the head to your right for a change. Once to the left, once to the right. You can do it very, very slow. You can do it fast. You can do it small. You can do it big. Try different variations. Be creative. Be creative. <laughs> Let's one of our fortes as humans, we are creative. We can be creators of movement. Enjoy this. This is about enjoying your movement. There's no stretching or strengthening. It's about organization. About where can I let go? What goes together with what? What talks to whom? Who talks to whom in your body? How is everything related? Make yourself comfortable. Make yourself at home. Then take a rest on your back again. Just feel how it feels like. Roll your head a little bit to your left and to the right. Just see. Is that more comfortable now? Is it warmer? Is it more relaxed? Better organized? Is it a nice rolling? Then get both of your feet standing. Your right hand on top of your right shoulder, your left hand underneath your right armpit. And reach with your right hand to your left and help with your left hand turn your chest. And help with the right foot push a bit. With your left hand you can feel your you can feel your ribs and help with your left hand just to organize this movement of turning to the left. Roll your head to the left. Push with your right foot. 
and change over the arms. So your left hand is on top of your right shoulder, your right hand is under your left armpit, and roll to your left side. Push with your left foot. Help with your right hand to roll your chest. Maybe you can reach for your left shoulder blade, and your left hand reaches on the floor to your right. Your head rolls to the right, your left foot pushes against the floor. Then keep your arms like that, and once reach to the left, and once reach to the right. So once you roll to your right, and once you roll to your left, to the right, and to the left, and help with your feet to push, and you roll. and maybe you're walking up on your carpet. So, how to come down again? Next time, you reach with your left hand to your right, turn your head in the opposite direction. Next time you reach with your right hand to the left, turn your head in the opposite direction, which is to the right. Always turn the head in the opposite direction. Now you should be moving downwards. And then same direction again. When you reach to your left, roll your head to the left. You push with your right foot. When you reach to your right, you, hold, you roll the head to the right. You push with your left foot. You can do this on your own terms as long as you want. You can pause the video or you can just take a rest, like I am taking a rest now. Just feel how you lie now, how you became friends with the floor. Roll your head a little bit to the left and to the right, and that's a relaxed neck. It should feel, well, it should feel easy to roll. Don't push your head rolling, just roll it a tiny little bit to the left, a tiny little bit to the right. To see where do you have to put the back of your head? More towards your crown or more towards your neck? Where is the best place to put your skull <laughs> or your head on, onto the floor? Just very gently, roll a little bit. Take a short rest. And then, eventually, we have to get up again. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. You can redo it as many times as you want. Practice often. And have a great day. Or have a good night. And see you in the next video.